Hi you guys, welcome back to my channel, Trust the Gym, that is Quita. Oh you call me Quita, either one would do I answer to both, please like, share, subscribe, all that good jazz, if you want to book a reading with me or anything like that, just email me. Um, yeah, we're just going to get straight into this reading. There's a lot of debt magic that's been going on um, underneath this moon cycle. A new moon, they did a lot of debt, so I've been still feeling the effects of that, trying to put people in debt and, you know, just not being able to make it on, pop, on top of that school uh food prices is rising um i've been picking up a lot of um breakup spells like putting people in stalemates and avoidance each other and not wanting to deal with each other um i've been picking up on a lot of um hold on where i had that card anyways a lot of um like delay spells and things of that nature oh lord jesus it's a lot of going in the spirit room yeah um snake spirit um a deceiver it's a monitoring spirit a very jealous spirit af after your destiny um th this is a destiny swap uh certain the, the snake spirit person mon most of the time they are a, a, a real person like a human being that is a, a snake spirited person like they they talk real slick and they move like a snake and they try to be intelligent but in a very demonic way okay um then we have the owl this is a top animal that these people like to use in the witchcraft to monitor uh as monitoring spirits um you may be hearing the sounds going whoop, 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 like an owl whatever um this means they're having the demonic meaning a meeting a demonic meeting i'm sorry and then cat monitoring spirits well, we all know cats uh for me it's more of a warning like okay people are doing magic i don't seen a black cat so many times but i'm not scared of them i'm not afraid of it i don't think it means anything bad it's just that people are up to bat you know doing negative energetic work to on a live you or someone you're close to the cockroaches and rats uh is it's to destroy to scatter um to uh create misunderstanding and chaos in your life uh put, they, these are basically possessed cockroaches and rats not necessarily in your house um a lot of times because i have my third eye if you have a third eye then you can go within and see that you're like well i'm seeing uh cockroaches while well, i'm seeing rats is because um somebody's trying to destroy your destiny by scattering it and making causing misunderstandings in your life cat, cat spirits is pretty explanatory uh you know death is around the corner things of that nature i think i did the vulture and crow doubt those two and then that bat thing with the bats upside down and feeling like your head is going to explode this is all tactics of witchcraft to to keep you off your path to keep you stagnant and to keep you uh confused and things of that nature to not being able to function you think there's something wrong with your health and it's the whole time it's just um it's just what you call that it's just witchcraft it's just people playing with witchcraft hold on y'all so um it's a lot of um i see a lot of blackmailing a lot of walk don't walk away spells somebody wants you to stay uh, um i seen somebody in the hospital room i seen a president a gift somebody's gonna be gifted something present somebody's gonna be end up in a hospital room take take this how, however it resonates um Somebody eyes turned black in a dream, so somebody could have went through something traumatizing. That's what that that's what that's telling me. Somebody went through something that's traumatizing. Um let's see what else we have here. Um, I think that's about it. The, the crow and vulture spirit is about death too. Somebody close to you is gonna die. Um yeah, I got that out the way. So now that we got that out the way, um, let's see. You just have to watch my channel because it's gems all in through my readings. It's gems all the way through this this channel. Watching you through a crystal ball. 
you're back doing that, watching you through a crystal ball. Um, something about the color purple. I've seen the uh, a lot. I've been been um, seeing that I was attracted to a lot of uh, purple stuff. The lack, the psycho demon, shapeshifter demon, um, or person. The Vlad could be a person in the, in the coming and forming a person, meaning that somebody just a psychopath and likes to control everything, blocks visions and dreams, a destiny stealer that's coming up too. So be aware of that. So, somebody needs to be, definitely work on their crown chakra as well. That purple could also mean that eat that, um, that mean that too, and eat purple foods like eggplant, anything that's purple, plums, and um, what else is purple that I can think of? It's Besides the eggplant, the palms, um, grapes. Your ex people could be still doing negative energy to work on you. Um, definitely manipulation tactics. They still at it. Your ex people is using manipulation tactics through spiritual um, means. They're watching you because of jealousy. They're jealous of everything you have, everything that you um, got going on. So be careful. This is a person that wants to swap destinies with you. So be uh, mindful of that situation. And somebody's auntie, uncle keep coming out. My um, twin flame, it says her, his aunt, I don't know. This Vlad person, this shapeshifter, whether it's a demon or a spirit of a person, is after your whole family. They want to see your whole family's destiny. Cleanse your feet. Remember to cleanse your feet. Keep your feet clean. I do. So remember to do that as well. Something about they're trying to manipulate you where you can get pregnant. Well, you get pregnant or something. They want you to get pregnant for... They want you to get pregnant for um your ex people is probably doing negative energy at work for you basically to be pregnant for this person so you can have some kind of contact with this person. And I know my ex people be doing crazy stuff like that. But I have never um gotten pregnant for him. I was with him for eight years and I was never pregnant. Thank God. I had my two side. <laughs> Um, the angels are, are watching this person watch you through a crystal ball so you're very protected even though this per this person is um watching you the angels are watching them watch you the uh, this person that's very jealous of your family and won't uh to steal your destiny swap your destinies uh they're having um they're trying to do it as a way to like drug poison for some reason. It's a lot of paranormal activity around somebody's aunt, my twin flame aunt or whoever she's supposed to be to him. I've been picking up a lot on her. Yeah, this person wants you to come in with um they want to have victory with manipulate you to get pregnant and they trying to love bomb you for some reason. Somebody's trying to love bomb you. Let's see. One of your family members, your uncle, could be a part of this person, this group of people that's jealous of you, that the angels is watching over you about. So let's be mindful of that. Um, they could be trying to make you have pox. Uh, it's a, uh, it's a uh, hormone. It's where you have un unstable hormones, you know. Um. Men can have that too as well. They're trying to make that your destiny. They're trying to destiny snap, swap with you so you can have pops and they can have your destiny. Okay? Um, they're definitely messing with the weather. We already know that. And something about victory and power. Clarify this victory and power and pregnant card tactics and manipulation. What's going on here? They're 
worried about your money, your wealth. They're worried about your victory, your, the power that you have, the power that you possess. Um, you may not be aware of all your powers or all your gifts, or all your like the victories. You may not be like seeing them. Like you're living in a, you're walking miracle, so it might be normal to you that you have this victory or power or some kind of success. Um, somebody clarify this pregnant card, Holy Spirit. Clarify this pre pregnant card on um, this pregnant energy. Somebody wants to get you pregnant. That's just what it is. The ex could want to get you pregnant. Yeah, your ex could want to get you pregnant. If they come in, they're going to come in love bombing you. And they're going to try to get you pregnant. They're going to try to use manipulation tactics if you was to go back with this person to, to get 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 you pregnant. I ain't going to worry about that because ain't nobody been over here. <laughs> Nobody, nobody, baby, nobody. Stay away. Uh, uh, especially if you ain't all the way together and all the way right. No. Clarify this love bombing, Holy Spirit. Love bombing. They definitely is messing with the weather through spiritual, by spiritual means. Um, they could be missing spirit, uh, spiritual means with uh, science and to manipulate the weather. That's why you see all these hurricanes and weather and all these disasters. Some of these things are not, they, they're calling them natural disasters, but they're really not. They're being manipulated by um, people, science, and they're being manipulated by, um, I call them environment, environment, environmental spells, but they're being manipulated by spiritual warfare. So just be aware that they're, they're even attacking the planet. They're, they're going to end up dying because Gaia is going to get, the universe is going to get tired of them. Causing all this destruction on this planet. And this planet is already done been through the ringer. And we're trying to heal it. And these negative people don't, they want to have power and control so bad. And so they will burn the whole world down so that they, they can, nobody will have it. If, if you know how uh, an abusive person say, if I can't have you, nobody have you. That's, that's exactly what I'm getting here. That's why they play with the weather so much to cause so much chaos and confusion and sickness and hurt and you know just all that negative low vibrational energy so that um this 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 earth can stay at a low frequency because they want to continue to let these demons roam when the earth is at a high frequency that's that means the veils and all the firmament stay together stay where it's at okay and it can box out the demons and these people know them love bombing holy spirit can you clarify that can you give us a clarifier for love bombing Yes. Let's clarify about the star card. Can you give me more Holy Spirit? Somebody want to love bomb you like you're the star or like... Hmm, let me see how I'm picking up this energy. Holy Spirit, please give me um more clarifications for this love bombing. Is somebody gonna come come in love bombing you because they see that you are star, they see that you are prospering, they see that you're progressing. Um, what's the sun zodiac sign? Let me get my other card. What's the sun zodiac sign? I use these. What's the sun zodiac sign of the person that I'm gonna come in love bombing? Holy Spirit, what's the sun zodiac? Um, let's see what pops out. Uh, what's a chariot? My mind is blank right now, y'all. Let me look on my computer. I use a particular website, so it is the Cancer's Pisces Scorpio because it is a chariot's card. And I'm pretty sure the chariot is um water sign energy, if I'm not mistaken, right? I could be mistaken. I'm looking it up now, y'all. So give me a second. Yeah, it's cancer. It's a cancer that's probably gonna come in love by me. Somebody sun can it could be a sun cancer or a moon cancer. Or this person could be, uh, it's a water sign. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. I got the Queen of Cups after this. Just because it's the Queen of Cups don't mean it's not a male. Some male be in their feminine energy. So just take that as a, as a resume. And it could be a male for you or female, but it's definitely feminine energy. Uh, Queen of Cups is definitely feminine energy. Okay, I'm just trying to, Gemini and Cancer. So heavy Cancer. I got two, uh, two Cancers and a Gemini. Love bombing. 
Spirit, why, what is the purpose of this love bomb? What is the purpose of this love bomb? Why love bomb? What is the purpose of this love bomb? What is the purpose of this love bomb? Um, somebody's love bombing you so they can let you down. You know how somebody love bomb you and tell you a star you're beautiful, but then until when they come back around, they're they're ending something. They're like stabbing you in the back. So somebody's love bombing you just to stab you in the back just to let you down. So this Cancer uh, Gemini could be love bombing you just to let you down. Is this because spirit? But I don't understand why build you up to let you down, Holy Spirit. Why build a person up to let them down? Why build a person up to let them down? Why build a person up to let them down, Holy Spirit? Why build it up to let them down? That's crazy. I'm getting a Knight of Swords here. Um. This person is trying to be very um, strategic with how, yeah. So, it's it's to create some kind of loss, some kind of something expected, some kind of destruction. Okay, what what destruction? What what Holy Spirit? What do they want to destroy, lose, or bring conflict in? What do they want to destroy or lose or bring conflict in? Yep, the seven of swords, some sneaky behavior, some t strategic behavior with what? With a relationship. This has to do with a relationship. And this is a sneaky behavior with a relationship. Could be... Drop my card, y'all. Give me a second. Hey. So somebody's doing negative energetic work for somebody to build you up to let you down. I'm used to failures. I'm used to being let down. So that ain't that new. I'm a Capricorn. And you know, Capricorns don't never have it too eat too hard. I mean, too easy. It's always been a little hard for us. Okay. So, anybody that want to let me down, feel free. <laughs> it just motivates me. Feel free to let me down. Yeah, feel free. Somebody is trying to uh, send demonic paranormal activity away to cause you to have pox so they can be your destiny. They want destiny. Pox to be your destiny. is disappointed with the way um they're disappointed with the way that uh these burdens are hitting someone yeah they, they feel like somebody's aunt is is like disappointed that the burdens like didn't burden you you still have a like you took all those ones and made and put it into one big one and stacked them on top of each other and made a, a, a statue out of this uh these ones that this person gave you these burdens that this person gave you it's like you stack up all 10 of these ones and all 10 of these ones you built one giant tree you know without the you know without the greenery but you made it like into a statue you make it look beautiful you make it look nice you make you make burdens look good that's that's basically what I'm, that's basically what you make burdens like it's like somebody keep giving you burdens and it's just making you shine better it's just making you like dang she building with these burdens he building with these burdens the nerve 
the gumption. So somebody, your twin flame aunt could be the one that's giving you burdens or giving this relationship burden as well. She could be working with a group of people. She keep coming up in this reading. My uh, my twin flame um, aunt or whoever she's supposed to be to him, she keep coming up in this reading with giving burdens and she's very disappointed. Um, she's the one sending para paranormal activity to you to like make you have pox or something with your destiny. They want you to have pox for a destiny or something. Something to that nature she may be attacking your crown making you feel like you know everything is hard and stressful when it's not or it could be a stress bill that she's doing too what's the sun zodiac uh oh Spirit say not only is this person watching through a crystal ball is jealous, but your twin flame aunt or whoever she's supposed to be to, to him is jealous as well. She is very jealous too. She and he is jealous. So you got two, y'all, two haters on your trail, jealous of you. I don't know about him, but it's definitely jealous of you. So I don't know. That's crazy. So it's, if you're watching this, you better take it. Some of y'all, some of our people do not be right, y'all. They be sitting by the devil themselves, and just because we grew up with them and we feel like, you know, we got a connection, a familiar, a familiar other, being familiar with them, um, and it makes us, you know, let our guard down. But baby, that's when you should have your guard up. I learned the hard way. Trust me. You talking to a person that had to put up walls with some of her, one of her children. Her, her twin sister at a point I had to leave my twin flame alone because he was just too into the uh, karmic stuff and then um who knows uh, it's a lot of stuff I had to cut off lovers that I used to back in the day like that I used to mess with you know not just just talking in general but I had to cut them off and cut and cut you know and and, and and she'll um cut my the people that I thought loved me the most was the ones that hated me the most and that that's that's who the devil will use. So you have to be very, that's why it's good to have self love and boundaries, self care and boundaries. And plus they was doing spells messing with my doctor as well, y'all. My kids' doctors too. They doing all this negative energetic work. Okay, now it's telling me who's messing with the doctor who's doing doctor's office spells. Like these celebrities will call it, actually call it into the doctor's, oh, she got doctor's appointments, oh, cancel that shit today. Cancel it and make it look, make her seem like it's her fault. You know, that's what they're doing. That's what Spirit is telling me they're doing. Your ex, your twin flame ex lovers, husbands, and, and things of that nature, are, these are the people that's doing that. These are the people, these celebrities. These people are very bitter at this time because their kingdom is falling. There is a snake, an unfriendly friend, a snake monitoring server, a deceiver, somebody that's jealous. And then after your destiny, somebody is, I yeah, got ch child kidnapping out here. Um, so your landlord, housing, whoever you leasing from could be in part of, uh, part of this as well. Let's see. Spirit wants you to use turmeric. Keep kill the spider in and when you go into war's pair, you see spiders in your home. Kill the spider. I got an unfriendly friend. Um, the snake monitoring spirit and the spider use the spiders and cobwebs to block you. So they're doing all this stuff too. Spirit wants you to look and see out your third eye so you can understand who it is. Um. Okay, so when they kidnap these children and sexually assault these children, they brainwash them. That's what I'm picking up. They brainwash these kids when they uh, kidnap them. They brainwash them. That's why they won't go tell. That's why, you know, they're at normal because they use a, a technique of brainwashing. I was wondering how, you know, people go at the normal and then they can turn on certain stuff. Um, and they brainwash these people to do that. They brainwash people when they, you know, Epstein people or Diddy people, however, you know, they brainwash them. And that's why a lot of people won't come forward. That's why a lot of people were scared because they were brainwashed to be scared. They were brainwashed 
to not tell. They were brainwashed. And what you see Justin, um, I think it's Justin Bieber, him breaking out of the brainwashing. I, I believe y'all call it grooming. A lot of people call it grooming. But in my, because I don't have grooming here, so it's coming up as a brainwash. And, I, and when, with that terminology, I can understand it a lot better because I understand brainwashing. Um, some of my own people tried to do, well, they did do that to me until... Um, I started to get in contact with other people. They isolated me. They use a lot of manipulation tactics to, to keep me asleep to a certain extent. That's why when I went to Job Corps, my, um, the lady, she loved me so much. She was like, you're so sweet. And she, she ended up being my godmother. And then when I told her why I was the way I was, and as she started asking me questions, I was like, well, I just never talked that Well, My grandma never did that. And she thought I was lying. She was like, no, no, nobody in their day and age just go to church seven days a week and sleep in a garage. And then when she, when my grandma sent my brother to Job Corps with, um, and my brother has sickle cell anemia, he has a whole, you know, the disease. He, he's, he's like disabled. He get SSI. He's, dis he's disabled. Like he literally cannot work. He has so many crises within months. Within one month, he could have three to four crises where his blood clots and stuff. And so she sent him to North Carolina. You know, it's cold. And people like that who have uh, sickle cell anemia, they need to be in warm environments and, and keep warm so their blood can flow. Because you got to understand, their blood don't regulate like it's supposed to. And my brother almost died in North Carolina. And when they took him to the hospital, they, you know, they did work and brought all kind of blood tests on him. Figured out that he had uh, sickle cell anemia and had to bring him right back to Florida. And that's what my grandma did. My brother almost died. And she wanted him to die, but just not in her hands so she can collect the money. And that's how people, <laughs> baby. And once people, the brainwashing is very real, y'all. I'm, I'm a victim of that myself by my own people. Brainwashing is very real in the spiritual sense and in the physical sense. If somebody get to you and they're molesting you or essaying you and, you know, they're speaking to your mind and they know how to do certain things, Believe me, you don't have, as long as you can, like the, the tactics that Diddy had, my grandma used a lot of those tactics. My grandma never sexually touched me, not me. Um, but, you know, it was a lot of those tactics used. Like, uh, we was made to eat soap until we vomited. Um, and I, I tried, I always held it down. But one time my sister had vomited and she, you know, they will make a eat. This is these are brainwashing tactics. These are fear tactics. These are to instill like I'm superior. You tell on me. You just you don't. They don't have to tell you not to tell because of the way they do you. The way that they torture you. You just know like I ain't. You know not to tell. You know not to say nothing. You just know to be scared. My sister was grown. My sister had PTSD. My sister was grown. I had her first child, and we we end up back um in our home well not our hometown where where we grew up with our grandmother, and she um we went to a particular Wendy's where we used to stay, and she saw um my uncle's girlfriend. My so when I tell you brainwashing is real, my sister literally jumped she was acting a fool and she was like so scared she went back to that little abused girl you know that was well, teenager we was teenagers at the time and she went back to that mind state and it happens in a split second um and i was like girl what's wrong with you like chill out these people can't do nothing to you they do something to you i'm gonna be i get out and do such and such and she it don't matter how much you know you tell them that they're protected they're scared they're literally scared because they go back into their psych that that psych, that place in their psyche where they were abused where they was not nurtured where they was they was neglected what and i'm about to cry y'all and because this like my this happened to someone i'm close to my twin sister this happened to her and I witnessed it. I was, you know, I was there for the abuse. She was there for my abuse. We was there. So we under, I understand it. And when I tell you brainwashing is so real, it happens so much into this, in this day in society that we think is normal and it's not, especially when you have a grown person that can react to it that way, like almost that flight or fight, um, sense where they're um like she was trying to get out of the car run i was like if you don't get in here sit down sit your butt down do you people can't do nothing to do? i wish she would i bust her in the face like i was telling myself i said you don't want me you don't don't, don't do that because she can't do that to you she know not to do that to you and then my sister we we had already paid for the food uh we got to the window and we got our food we she didn't even eat it i was like you don't want it she's like no 
I was like, this the girl is in the window. She took she just took the order. She didn't know who you was. She didn't see you until you got to the window. This happened some years ago. This happened over five years ago, over six years ago. Um, and she was like, I don't want it, Quita. Like she's like, I don't want it, I don't want it. And this is very real. Um, my sister was um yeah, she was a victim of sexual assault too. And so when you when these things happen to these children, they you have to understand they're not gonna come forward right away and say, Oh, this happened that's very rarely happened. When when my uncle I thank God I wasn't. I was almost essayed as a child by my own uncle. And good thing I was the type of child I fought. I don't know what he's talking about. You know you want it. You know, I don't know what you was talking about, sir, but you need to get off me. I just know he was in my space. I didn't like it. And and, and I think my autism had a lot to do with it too. If you if you have people who are autistic, they will tell you if they have a bubble, they have a space, and we like to be distant. I even with my first boyfriend. And my second boyfriend, I had to get used to them touching me. I didn't like nobody touching me. I didn't like nobody up on me. I like my boyfriend would kiss me and I would punch him. I would smack him. He was like, what's wrong with you? I'm your boyfriend. I'm like, oh, yeah, you're right. I, I do have, you know. Um, so it, that did play a lot. And I'm like, I, I, as soon as it happened, I'm like, oh, I wanted to run and tell my grandma I was breathing so hard. My hair was all over my head because I was fighting him. I was like, he, 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 and I, all I could do was like, I was in panic mode. All I could do is like, I was being, I was traumatized, y'all. It's not a fun feeling. A lot of people can't even verbalize. I'm like almost in tears. A lot of people can't even verbalize, you know, things, especially when they're young, preteen, teenagers. And we think because these kids know so much that they're ready, they're still not ready. Their brains, they're just developing, you know, these, I, when I was 18, I still wasn't ready for the sexual encounter that I agreed on agreed on having my eyes my I still wasn't ready but I did it you know I own it I did it and I, I could have waited and that's just what it is and these babies don't know these people even these adults like they they are living you have to understand that somebody's living and then once they start being on the drugs once they get their life clean that once they you know meet people who are normal and go to therapy and they realize all the trauma they they're unbagging everything it can take years, you know what I mean, for somebody to just breathe clear. It's for somebody to just sleep at night. So a lot of people sleep in the daytime because of the things that, that went bump in the night. You know, Diddy Party was like 2, 3 o'clock in the morning, he said, right? Anything that went bump in the night, they, didn't, they won't even go to sleep at that time because they can't get peace. You get what I'm saying? They can't rest. Um, Y'all, this stuff is real. This stuff is so real. And what that, that, that brainwashing don't uh, all the time mean what you think it means you know what i mean and i i tried to describe it as best as i i could but thank god i was the way that i was and i told my grandma right then i was like and i was like panicking she knew i was like i was so scared for my life because i didn't know what the hell he was talking about you gotta understand i was sheltered my mom i never seen anybody i never i was like 12 13 i never seen anybody have sexual contact any of that nature i didn't i was never taught uh, nobody talked about that around me. Nothing. It was not allowed. My mama did not play that. And so for him to say he oh he want I wanted something. I'm like what? I'm asking. I said what? What you mean? What I want? What you mean? What 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 do you mean? What I want? He was like you know you know. And then he started bu unbuckling his pants. Oh no baby, <laughs> if that's what you're talking about, I didn't even want to see that. I need him so hard. He was like, you little B, you little B, you little B. And I'm just like, I don't give a, I was just fighting him, punching him. And then once he got need, he, you know, flipped over because he his stuff was hurting, I guess. That's what I went and told my grandma right then. She couldn't deny it. Like, your son tried to do some weird shit to me. Like, she knew. And I was just, and my sister was there. My sister was already getting molested by my auntie, so... Yeah, she already knew what that look was, that frantic look, because I don't even know. I can't even remember even, Lord Jesus, let's go on, Holy Spirit, let's go on, move on. Um, These people are working with your ex's people? Yep, Azazel keep, uh, keep coming up. Azazel is jumping from body to body. This demon is jumping from body to body. Yes, this demon is jumping from body to body, y'all. personally invested in messing your life up this this spirit is back again they're personally invested um coming against your wishes sending demons out so they're praying against your wishes 
And Aziza done came out again. I got jump, uh, j jumping. Uh, I got the card jumping. And then it says Azazel is jumping body to body. And then I have Azazel right by my ex's kinfolk. Yeah, they want you to be wasteful. Um, they're doing negative energetic work through Azazel for you to be wasteful. This is a male malignant narcissist. My ex is a, a male malignant narcissist as well. So this very much connected. I am connected to my higher self. Spirit wants you to stay connected to your higher self. Um, Spirit wants you to know you're worthy of something. What do you? What is this? Worthy of healing. Spirit say you're worthy of healing. So go ahead and heal that. Um, another. This uh, female singer is a taker. It's a A-list female singer that's a taker that's connected to Jay-Z and Beyonce. Um, this person is one-upping you. Damn, Spirit is very, very detailed in this reading. There ain't no mistakes about it. Something is going on with your neighbor. Your neighbor is into something. Hold on. Yeah, they're trying to... They're trying to get back into your aura. Trying, they're knocking, Satan, gluttony, and lords of... They're, they're in, implementing the uh, seven deadly sins up on your life. Meaning they want you to be glutton. They want you to, they want you to be say, lustful. They want they, they, they want this. And um, they're using Beelzebub. I knew that because I kept getting a fly. Every time I get a fly, a fly just want to come to me and mess with me. and just it, It's like if this was picking on me. And I, I hate to sit... I'm like, like this fly won't leave me alone. It just would not leave me alone. So, um, please uh, do uh, eat green stuff uh, and stay connected to your heart chakra because that's what's going to keep you uh, afloat of these of all this demonic activity. Um, your neighbor ego is toxic, and um, they 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 it's they 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 are so asphyxiated on the money that you make. These people are so your neighbor, your people in your neighborhood. They're asphyxiated on the money that you make it's some for some reason it's something about the money that you make they're just asphyxiated on the money that you make uh i don't understand that but that's that's what is coming out here this is very crazy yeah yeah they're trying to cage somebody's child like at a school dance try to make they're gonna try to make one your one of your children look unstable or you look unstable because they wanna they're trying to cage somebody's child and then that they, they uh tried to do this in the school setting to make somebody uh, one of your children probably look unstable. Um but that cycle ended. Spirit said that cycle ended. A vampire you wanna date you. Somebody with a vampire spirit or actual vampire you wanna date you. This person is rich. This person's favorite color is blue. <sighs> uh, we have one of the um, red, yeah. This had the poli one of these politicians. They're trying to alcohol poisoning, or they're gonna get alcohol poisoning, or they're trying to spell for you to have alcohol poisoning. Yep, the this politician energy is coming all out at once. Like, this reading is very synchronistic. Uh, one of our politicians, even though he's grown, the spirit is saying he's a man, boy, he acts immature. He's a malignant narcissist as well. He wants you to react to something. He's doing some kind of spell work for you to react to something. 